Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means one thing. It's Icon Pack today on FC24. For the second week in a row, we have a new leaked Icon Pack that could bring some new icons straight into teams today if you're lucky enough to pack them. Let's talk about this SBC, preparing for it. Do we need to buy some cards for fodder? Maybe Team of the Weeks. How much will it cost? How's it going to impact the market? We're going to discuss all of that today. And also the fact that EA dropped the same Evo yesterday two different times. Very interesting, but I think there's a reason why they did that. Let's talk about it, boys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs on a Saturday. We had a pretty basic Saturday, to be completely honest, apart from one exception. First of all, this is the exception. The 82-plus player pick, an upgrade SBC on a Saturday? I'm not complaining. I'm just curious. Now, the only thing is we can only do it five times per, is it day? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it's only 11 rares for an 82 plus player pick, which is nice. I'll take an 84, but you're looking for promo cards. You're looking for informs. You're looking for higher rate stuff out of that. And yes, it is five times per day. At least it's there though. I'm not going to complain too much about that. GG's EA, it is a great price. Now, the real surprise yesterday was not the player that we had really that was leaked. We knew that Giovanni Di Lorenzo was getting an SBC, but it's the price of the SBC. 82 and 84 with the team of the week. That is a very cheap SBC. And then you look at the card. He has block playstyle plus 90 pace. And incredible stats all the way around. 3-star, three 3-star three is a bit underwhelming. But hello to one of the best right-backs in the game, especially on a budget. That is an insane right-back card for 50,000 coins. And it's we're two for two guys on amazing SBCs that have impacted the market so far during Team of the Group stage. First with Harry Kane, and now with this Di Lorenzo card. This SBC is 92% upvoted on Footbin. And if you take a look at the card itself, you see it's got an 1,800 thumbs up on the actual card. Guys, this is an SBC that if you have a Serie A team, you got to get it in the side, right? His Trailblazers card was a cheap beast earlier on this year. This has four more pace, plus twos and plus one across the board. And it's got the block play style plus along with still having rapid first touch and relentless. The relentless and the rapid are very, very nice. Um, again, really, really great attributes, really, really cheap. If you run a Serie A team, this is a card you got to get done. And maybe even if you don't, do this for a future Serie A link up that you might need. Now, of course, with this SBC being as cheap as it is, look at the fact that other right backs are down bad. It's obvious, right? Dodo from the 195,000 coins to 113K. And I even think that he's part of the reason that Cancelo's card dropped off as much as it did yesterday. Not so much here, but from 400,000 coins down to 380, 370, where Cancelo has been in the past little bit. Like, this Di Lorenzo card is making a lot of right backs drop. And of course, on the flip side, just like we saw with Harry Kane, it's making Serie A cards go up. Bremer, 66,000 coins. Kavicha's Inform card, 80,000 coins. Kalulu, who yes, did, uh, I believe, just get an upgrade. But really, take a look at his price after the SBC came out yesterday. From 33,000 coins up to 42k where he is now. He is up big time in price because of the links it's the italian links even ogbana is going up because of this card that has been dropped but it's a lot of syria links specifically that you're seeing prices go up it even looks like zambrotta is down as an icon an italian icon right back is down in price because of a 50k di lorenzo so that is an insane sbc that was dropped yesterday gg's ea for dropping that one they also dropped the vincent company hero challenge so make sure you get that done if you're trying to do the completionist objective that is out there now let's talk about the other piece of content in evolutions evos two not one but two of the exact same evolution and when i saw this like yesterday i was like wait what am i seeing double is this actually supposed to be here and i think it is guys i don't think ea messed up with this 
I think what EA is doing here is trying something and testing something out with, I mean, maybe not the best evolution, but they're giving us an opportunity, which think about it, right? All of these evos that we look at, we, we think about, we do, we like, okay, I'm going to put this card in because he looks insane. This evo looks great. And usually when it comes down to an evo, you're probably between what, one or two or three cards, right? Well, if you're between two cards, EA has just given us the opportunity to get both cards. Basically, if you want to grind it and get both pitch commander upgrades done if there's players in your club that you really want to see upgraded and you have two options and you have to choose between them normally with just one evolution well this is ea saying hey we'll let you do both now the unfortunate part about this is it's 150,000 coins times two the upgrade yes you do get a playstyle plus which by the way how many um playstyle pluses have they given out this year not many but how many times have they given out the intercept playstyle plus that seems to be one of their favorite playstyle pluses to give out via an evolution i don't know why that is is it a good playstyle plus yeah it's solid but they love to give it out i mean it's not that many games win two win one and then win win one and play two so it's very very easy to do it's just 150,000 coins. The upgrade overall, you get plus three pace, no shooting upgrade, four passing, three dribbling, four defense, and four physical. So it's plus threes, plus fours around the board with a play style plus and a weak foot upgrade as well, which is cool. But it's 150,000 coins. Once again, it is just expensive. And you're also starting off with a max 85 overall player with center defensive mid. Uh, being the, the preferred position here, so a center midfielder. But, you know, you can get some good cards in it. It's just the fact that it's 150K. It's 4% upvoted. And if you take a look in here, there are some pretty good options on foot.gg. One thing that might be really interesting is trying to figure out if you can, like, uh, again, put an evolution like this into a double up sort of combination. This Kamavinga might be one of the better Kamavingas that has been um, available to Evo, like 85 rated. He's got left back as well. This gives him a nice pace boost. It makes him Hullet Gang apart from the shooting. So if Kamavinga is a card that you want to evolve, I mean, that card on the market with the Playstyle Plus might actually be worth 150,000 coins if you want to look at it that way. Might be a little bit less than that. But that's the kind of idea you'd maybe be looking for here. Again, with a pricey Evo like this, it's just maybe something that you maybe wait until you see an insane Evo combo that you want to be a part of. It's out for 20 days. Um, I just thought, again, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking at this too, like, why did EA drop it twice? It's just very confusing. Now, I did choose. I tweeted out yesterday who to choose for my Ultimate Team Champs Evo. I picked Hyunmin Sun. I know the Player of the Month Premier League card is not that bad looking. It looks nice. But Sun on this dynamic with the red card design, I know it's kind of hiding. Uh, if I can look at it here, there it is. This card looks insane, man. So I'm excited to have Sun in the side as my red foot champs item. I need to get that done. And I haven't decided yet what to do with the Founders Evo, guys, because it's still stuck here at 80 shooting. And I hope EA fix it, but I'm not honestly expecting them to because EA, and that's why. But I think they should, and they need to fix that. Now, let's get to the stuff that is coming at hand today. And we're going to go to SBCs and talk about Icon Pack Sunday, first of all. Now, the 87 plus Baser Centurion's Icon Upgrade, it is going away today. And if you remember last week, this was the first time last week that we saw this SBC, right? It was added to the code a week ago. It was added into the game on Sunday. But during the last couple of days, we've had yet another Icon Pack that has been added to the code. Now, the question is, are EA going to keep moving straight along and upgrading our Icon Packs on Sundays? Or are they going to take a chill for a week after they've already upgraded it? But this is in the code, right? This pack is in the code, which makes us think they might be moving it straight along. The 87 plus base Centurions or Thunderstruck icon pack. So it's still 87 plus. You still got the base and the Centurions card in there. But this pack adds in the most recent icons in this game. The, sorry, not the most recent. We've had dynasties. But the live icons, the Thunderstruck icons that were out during Black Friday, which actually, like, these icons have not been in the game for more than four weeks, like almost a month, these cards have been in the game, which is something that makes me think that maybe this pack isn't actually coming today because it seems like it's too fast, right? It seems like these cards being put into an upgrade pack while some of them still are playing games this weekend to get fully upgraded, it seems a bit too fast. But hey, 
I think it's possible, guys. We'll just have to see. I think there's two different scenarios that EA could do today. Number one, they add this pack, which contains the Thunderstruck cards, the Centurions, and the base, the base icon cards, right? You can, again, Cantona, Kaka, Figo, Skulls, Perez, not the best. Soul Campbell, great card. And then, of course, this. I mean, this adds in. If they add the Thunderstruck icons in, that adds a ton of hype. Think about the Ronaldinho being packable as a special variant in this. Nesta with his uh, nice upgraded card. Pushkas with his card. Vandersar being 90 rated. Cafu being 92. Cruyff being 95. Thierry Henry, 93 rated with the upgrades that he's got. There would be a lot of hype for an icon pack that includes the chance at getting Thunderstrucks in it. But once again, guys, it almost seems a bit too early. So I can see this going one of two ways. First way I could see things going today is EA just straight up re-release the 87 plus base or Centurion's icon upgrade, right? Last week was the first time that we had this pack. It was an 86 and an 87 rated squad requirement and informs went up a lot and people were excited for this because it was the first time we got promo icons in an upgrade pack. That's situation number one. Situation number two would be they actually release this pack including the thunderstruck icons in it and there's even more hype because you have that very small but albeit there chance to pack one of the thunderstruck cards whatever happens today guys it's an icon pack sunday we are very very likely getting one of these sbcs today uh, one of them probably not both but probably one of them so do we need to invest right and how's it going to impact the market well if it's the same SBC, the Baser Centurion's Icon Upgrade, it might have a little bit less of an impact unless they make it a lot cheaper. I mean, this right here, 8687, was already not that expensive. On Footbin, this SBC shows as 279,000 coins. And I remember last Monday or last Sunday looking at this SBC and being like, wow, people actually wanted to pay that much for the added part of different icons inside of it. EA might be able to get away with making this an 87 and an 88 rated squad and then rec still require an inform because the Thunderstrucks could be inside of it if they drop this pack today. So do we need to invest for this, right? Again, they don't often require the double team of the weeks, but I think they require the double team of the week so that they could keep the overall squad ratings here lower. And I think they might do that again, honestly, because number one, that's how they've been consistently doing it throughout this entire year. And number two, if they require an 88 squad or an 88 nine squad for an icon pack, yes, that would make a lot of people have to go out to the market and buy players to get that done. But at the same time, that's the part of the fodder market. I think EA know move the most. That's kind of been our favorite place to invest recently. I mean, to be, to be honest, we keep talking about it on the weekends, right? 88s and above because those have been moving the most with Eusebio, Zidane, the Mbappe player of the month that is out, the Mbappe player of the month that is still yet to come. I still think that that high rated part of the fodder market, the 88s and above, is my favorite place if you're going to try to invest today. Like, I still like those cards because they are the ones that are moving the most. Like yesterday, Lewandowski was down to 51,000 coins. You would have probably been able to get him on bid for like 50K. He's like 53K right now. You got squad data rewards coming out today. You got more lightning rounds, packs in the store. You may be able to snag some 90s for like 50,000 coins. That's not a bad place to put some coins to been list those up for the rest of this week as people are doing. Again, Zidane and Eusebio and Mbappe player of the month and stuff like that. But if you're looking for an investment, again, for an icon pack like this, if they require informs like they did, if they require, even if it's just like, let's say it's an 86 and an 88 rated squad with one inform on the 86, like 88s, 89s might move up a decent amount. Whatever is required for an icon pack, especially if it's this one today, it'll probably move up. The amount that it moves up just depends on kind of what is required, right? The high rated stuff moves the most and informs move the most. Informs are already... 30,000 30, coins, I think. Even with the cheaper Team of the Week pick that is out, Inform still maintain a price of 30K. And even the higher rated ones like 86s, it might even be a little bit more expensive than that. So if you're going to invest in Informs, you're investing and you're hoping that EA require two Team of the Weeks in that SBC again. Again, I'm not going to say don't do it because Informs have been some of the best places to invest. I am not going to be investing here in any of this stuff because I'm probably not doing this icon pack unless I can craft it with untradeables, but it is up to you. I just feel like, yes, EA is going to drop an icon pack today. Yes, whatever they require will probably go up, but guessing on what that's going to be, 
takes a little bit of uh, risk, right? Whether you go for the informs or whether you go for maybe 86s or 87s, or if you go for 88s or above. I think the safest fodder play would be 89s at 36K on bids, 90s at 50, and maybe Kevin De Bruyne and Holland at like 64, 65,000 coins if you can get some snipes. Because again, the SBCs that people are consistently buying fodder for are those big boy SBCs that people are crafting. And I think that that high rated fodder could move up a little bit more during the week. So that's kind of the icon pack situation today. Now, for the rest of the market, right, the team of the group stage cards, while yes, a lot of them dropped yesterday and I did end up losing a few coins, I sold one Phil Foden and I made like 15K. The other ones, I ended up losing like 60K per card on. Like, yes, like a lot of our profits were wiped out because of the Phil Foden and the drop off that happened yesterday, of course. The drop off happened as we got into the content time. I was expecting a drop off. I didn't expect it to happen as early as it did, right? I bought Phil Foden last night, like right here. And he went up to here. I was like, boom, all right, we got out. And then a couple hours later, he just got absolutely destroyed. Combination of, I guess, panic selling and supply. And honestly, his price was a little bit too expensive. That's what happens. We mentioned in yesterday's video, these cards are rare. And when the rarity, like, kind of. When people are done trying out the card and they think that, okay, yes, this card is rare, but it's also pretty expensive for being in packs only one day. When it's truly overpriced like that, you see some pretty crazy drop-offs as people start undercutting, but nobody wants to, to really buy yet. I mean, Musiala went from 850 all the way down to 680. He bounced back to 750, and here we are at 680 again for this card. Like, we were due some price drop-offs, but it just happened very drastically yesterday and very fast, honestly, for some of these. But that actually has gotten these cards down to a very respectable and believable price range where I think today they're going to be really, really good opportunities to buy around in and around the time that the Icon Pack drops, maybe an hour or two, three after that, because it's going to create some panic, right? And Icon SBC, whether it's the same one or whether it's this one, including Thunderstrucks, is going to make some of these cards move because people are going to be packing these from lightning rounds and store packs at the same time from whatever packs they give out from the icon sbc and people might even be selling these to go and get that icon sbc done so these cards will be 100 percent good cards to watch for today make sure you focus on the rare ones the ones that people are buying and that are hyped for like foden klaus um, you saw like we looked at the Foden graph and he went down to 180 and it went back up to like 190, but he didn't move like that much, right? Like that's not that big of a fluctuation. Whereas we looked at Musiala and he had that big drop and then the bounce back, try to focus on the ones that had those very, very drastic fluctuations, right? Uh, Leal went from 880 and he's down at 690 right now. Still a bit overpriced in my opinion, but watch those cards because those are ones that could move nicely heading into Monday. Hopefully we get a decent Monday market rise this week, but I think these cards are rare. They're big names. I think they'll be good to trade with. So watch the panic selling on those today. Other things happening today on Sunday, a mini release with more cards coming out seems very possible. I mean, we don't have very many leaked players. Hakimi was a name that was thrown around that we haven't seen yet in his promo team. So we're unsure if he's actually getting a card or not, but if there's going to be a mini release, he might be in it. And I do believe that that mini release would be today if it's going to happen. So definitely watch out for that. By the way, EA finally updated Graven Birch's price. He's 240,000 coins for a medium, medium four star, four star Graven Birch. Um, keep an eye on this card today. Great playstyle plus with Relentless Plus. Never going to run out of stamina for a card that uh, a lot of people want to try for a Hullet Gang Prem midfielder. That's a pretty nice card, but he's finally not extinct, which is thank you, EA, for actually updating his price correctly. So maybe more Team of the Group Stage cards coming out today. Really quickly, we did have more heroes that were dropped yesterday, as expected, including the Viali card, who got a really massive upgrade. Viali and Schneider might be the two most hyped cards that were added to the game yesterday. This Schneider looks unbelievable. Five-star, five-star with those stats, the incisive pass plus. I mean, I'm sure his graph has been all over the place since he was dropped down to 2 mil, down to 1.5. He's now 1.6. I'm sure a lot of people really want to try that card. I'm sure they're difficult to pack, but all the heroes are now in packs for the UEFA side of things, and that is cool. So watch out for those probably moving again today on the market. These guys seem to be decently rare too, but a lot of the ones that were in packs Friday, like Futre, Company, Bon Pastor, they have dropped a bit in price. 
keep an eye on those today as well. They might be really good to trade with because they fluctuate still a lot in the market. Now, apart from those cards being the talk of the town, we had one leak, and I think this SPC or these two SPCs actually might have to drop today, guys, because if you remember on last week's Monday content tweet, EA said that there was a UWCL showdown that was going to be happening, and it's the women's Madrid team versus Paris FC, Rasso and Corbos. Uh, the Rasso card with 98 pace shown here um, looks insane. I believe she was on the front page of Footbin for a minute, or is. Center attacking mid and right mid, three star, four star, five foot four with finesse shot, rapid, and quick step. That is a very cracked looking card with some Madrid links. So I don't know if it'll be expensive. I don't know even what the card's going to look like, but that's the showdown leak that we have. And I think there's a very high likelihood that that could be today once again, just because EA said on a Monday tweet last week that that was upcoming and those tweets go Monday to Monday. So this is the last day for those to actually kind of be a part of that content tweet. So I would think that that's very possible as well as maybe a team of the group stage player SBC once again. And today is going to be day 17 of the advent calendar objective. Are we going to get anything today? Yesterday, there was a really good one. Now I missed it because I'm a day behind, but an 80 times 10, that's pretty dope. Day 17 today and 83 times two might help out with a little bit of the fodder crafting for the icon pack. But EA, do something cool today, all right? Give us a W icon pack. Give us that new one. Allow us to have a chance at Thunderstrucks. And maybe I would think about crafting it this week. I don't do a lot of icon packs, but maybe I would consider it if they were to do that. Is that an 84? Is that a 84 Ruben Neves? I will take that from that pack right there. Not too shabby. I don't have any other big packs to open today like we did in yesterday's video. Uh, but I do have 3 million coins. And we're going to continue to try to grow these coins into team of the year another reason to be careful with your coins right now i know an icon like pack like this seems great eusebio zidane mbappe seems great coins are king during team of the year and you'll be able to craft zidane and eusebio during team of the year so if you want to start now that's fine just be careful with those coins right try to make some don't spend too much that's the name of the game it's not spending too many coins especially if you're an rtg because those coins go away quick with all this content that we have. So speaking of content, we always like to see it. Let's hope they drop a banger of an icon pack today. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's Nate the Food Accountant. Peace. Out.